If you look at the world today and what technology has done, it's brought us wearables, it's brought us connectivity, it's really changed almost every aspect of our lives. But safety, frankly, hasn't changed in decades. And when we set out to look at the G7 project, that's really what we wanted to do. Take that technology and put it where it matters most, protecting those people in any environment. Blackline's been making connected safety products for a while. Uh, what we've done here is added gas detection to that connected safety product. Uh, those products can now deliver real-time gas readings to a monitored backend. Uh, safety alerts go directly to the monitored backend and uh, alerts can be handled according to a response protocol that's been predetermined for the employee. You don't need to set up expensive Wi-Fi systems. You don't need your device to connect to another Bluetooth device, which then connects to something. Right out of the box, our G7 devices uh, connect to the network, and they're also able to deliver that really key information of not only is someone using the device, are they using it effectively? Are they bump testing? Are they uh, calibrating the device regularly? Another feature of the G7 is that it has uh, voice calling capabilities, so if there isn't a safety alert, we can communicate directly with the user through a voice call. It'll also support text messaging for messaging back and forth to the users. Uh, knowing who's on your site and where they are and being able to evacuate them as quickly as possible is traditionally a very difficult problem. And with G7, you know within seconds uh, who's safe and who's not safe, and you can see your team evacuating to muster points in real time. The G7 has two different models. There's a cellularly connected model and the satellite connected model. The satellite connected model is for working in remote areas where you're outside of a regular cellular communication and the cellular connected module works wherever your cell phone would normally work. People can actually see uh, real time where instances are happening, but then they can also retroactively look back and say, okay, um, I've had a number of gas exposures. Those exposures may not have been dangerous at the time, but those are leading indicators to understand What's happening on your facility? If you can see on a heat map, I've had a number of, of uh, near misses or low gas detection incidences. That's sort of an indicator that you have a problem in that area you may not be aware of. Demonstrating compliance is critical to every business these days. Uh, compliance has been changing over the years. Um, in the past, it's been okay for companies to just give people gas detectors and, and assume that they know how to use them. With what G7 delivers, a safety manager can see if the units are calibrated, if they've been bump tested virtually in real time. The power of the G7 system is that it allows compliance to be right now. Are my people compliant currently in the field today? The G7 really is a game changer. When an incident occurs, what we're talking about today typically is a recovery operation. With the G7, you know instantly that something has happened to one of your people in the field or in your facility, and actually you're mounting a rescue operation. The difference is that dramatic.